Hi there, Libras. Welcome to your weekly reading. First of all, uh, while I was shuffling out this spread, I feel like uh, there was a message and it's uh, like, I have to do it. I've got nothing to lose. So I feel like for some of you, um, this is like expressing how you feel to another person. And that can be if you love them and things have been at a standstill and you're wondering, you know, if this relationship is going to take off and things like that, then you're going to express how you feel for other people. If someone has been grading your nerves or if someone has been um, kind of like overstepping their boundaries with you, you're going to tell them, them how you feel because you feel like, you know, my sanity, my emotional health means a lot more than this relationship. So I'm going to tell them to kind of uh, stay clear. And if they can't respect my space, then they don't need to be in my space. So I feel like um, it's like I've got nothing to lose. I have to express how I feel. I have to tell it as it is. I can't be holding things in anymore or I can't be a doormat to other people and their wrongdoing. So I definitely feel um, the need to express yourself, the need to kind of like unload and the need to kind of uh, let people know where they stand with you. Um, I don't see there's any dangers associated with this. Because, you know, you are a very calm, harmonious uh, sign. And I feel like, you know, you and the Taurus people, you put up with a lot. And it takes a lot to really, really trigger you. And so I feel like somebody's definitely overstepping their boundaries with you. And then on the other side of it is um, the emotional outpouring of love and, and things like that. You want to express how you feel to a person. And I feel like there has been a period of waiting, waiting, waiting for things to take off. So I feel like you might have taken the more passive approach, waiting for the other person to approach you, waiting for them to make the first move um, and feeling like, you know, the ball's in their court. Why aren't they coming forward? And I also feel like there is a cycle here regarding past relationships where you might have uh, dated somebody or you might have been with multiple, you know, a series of people from your past who have been kind of like who, who wear their hearts on their sleeves. They're very expressive and they are the ones that take the initiative to come towards you and so you're used to that. You're used to, you know, being the one that is being chased. And so in this present time frame, you might be dealing with somebody who is not as aggressive, who is a lot more like they, they think, you know, they think, they strategize, they wait for the right opportunity, they might be very slow in their approach. And so you're not used to um, dealing with somebody who is a little bit more careful and who doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve. So it's really hard for you to guess where you stand with them. And so I see this element coming through about, you know, needing to kind of um, change the way that we behave and change the way in which we approach relationships. I see this clock and they're saying like the clock is ticking, you know, it's, it's the countdown. So it's like I've got nothing to lose or I, I, I don't have time to waste or uh, time is running out. I need to, you know, let my feelings be known. Okay. Um, so that's specifically for those who are entering new love relationships. You have a really beautiful card here, by the way. This is the Ace of Cups, outpouring of love coming through. And I feel like for the next week, there will be a lot of people in hot pursuit of you. And I feel like some of them are people that you feel like, oh, I have no business dating this person. So you're not going to give them, you know, that, that um, time of day. But I also see many of you, you're being pursued by many people, but you have your heart, genuinely have your heart set on a specific person. I feel earth sign, fire signs, and I have an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I don't see like a water energy. Yeah, I don't see like, too much of a water energy, but I definitely feel like lots of passion. Um, I feel like you're dealing with someone as well, and this could be romantic or not. You're dealing with someone who is, um, they're, 
their bark is bigger than their bite. Okay, so for some of you, you might have a new pet, a new animal. For others, you're dealing with someone who's very, very like、um, logical and very cerebral, very communicative, and I feel like it's really hard to access their emotional side. Okay, so they、um, they might say a lot of things, but it's really, really hard for them to express how they feel about things, to express their preferences, to express like you know the softer side of the communication, and so. The approach here is to be a little bit more playful, okay? To kind of,、uh, in order to get them to open up, be a little bit more playful, be a little bit more spontaneous, be a little bit more expressive in also asking them questions, asking them about their childhood, asking them about their family, asking about their dreams and aspirations, and then going from there. So establish that baseline first between you and another person. Before they can trust you, and before they can, you know,、uh, open up to you. So you need to show that sincerity, that you're listening, that you're interested, that you're soft, and that you're harmless before they can, you know, readily open up to you. And I see that energy here with the strength card.、Um, and I feel like, you know, this is the the card. What the message that came out is their bark is bigger than their bite. And so you have to be delicate. You have to coax them. You have to, you know. Um, really allow them to trust you before they will open up. Some of you are dealing with a, a partner that is—they're、um, doing a lot of work on themselves. Like they're very, very much, you know, they keep to themselves. They—they might be a little bit of a loner. They're very work-oriented, and I also feel like they enjoy their own company. They don't like the drama and the、um, problems. When it comes to you know hanging out in big groups,、um, mingling with too many people, they like to keep to themselves. Their energy is very contained. They have a small group of friends. They're very home oriented. But I, I see this energy, and it shows up here in the Queen of Wands. It's somebody that is you know they keep to themselves. They have their own hobbies. They have many many outlets like creative outlets. So they don't really like to you know go out and go crazy and just you know. Um, give their time and their energy to too many people, and as a result of that, I feel like you're fine because you're very social by nature. As an air sign, you are very social.、Um, you don't really. It's it's hard for you to know how to approach somebody like this. It's hard for you to know, and I I would say you know this is a person that is hugging their heart. So that means they're very discriminate about who they share with. And they're very discriminate about who they give their heart to, so you have to kind of coax them by asking them personal questions. You know, like, what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? What are your interests? You have somebody who's very creative, so they do things with their hands. They might have artistic skills. They, I'm seeing, they might have musical skills. They might play the guitar. They might play the、um, piano, the violin. They do things with their fingers, with their hands, and so that could be the icebreaker. Those could be the conversation starters for you if you are feeling like you don't really know how to reach this person. I see you having a lot of chemistry towards another person, and I also see a situation where. You have somebody very exciting coming into the picture, and、uh, you want to be a little bit careful because I don't see a lot of compatibility. It's somebody who is different from you. They could be different culturally, ethnically. There's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like、um, at the baseline level, the things that you want, the things that they want, the things that you want out of life, and the things that they want out of life might be different. So one person might want children, the other person's like, no, I just want to focus on my career. One person might want to settle here, the other person might want to settle elsewhere. And so you have a really strong attraction towards them, but it seems like building a future might not be easy. Okay. And then I also feel as well there is like、uh, love triangles, for some of you love triangles, and I don't see cheating. I just feel like somebody has options, and、um, it's it's sort of like I feel like from your end you have somebody that you're very fixated on, but they're not really budging, and so you're like, ah,、uh, you know, they're.、Uh, 
I'm not gonna waste my time waiting around for them. I'll explore other options, and then when they choose to come to me, then I'll consider it. So I feel like you're keeping your options open, which is good. When it comes to dating, you know, if、um, but I, I just feel like the the person that's really in pursuit of you, great chemistry, not a lot of compatibility. So you know, take it slow. Okay. Whereas the person that you're waiting for, they really really like you. But I feel like they take forever to initiate contact.、Um, this is a good week overall for just you know communicating what you mean, and communicating in a way where it allows you to draw clear boundaries with people. So, like I mentioned before, it's all about telling how people how you feel, telling people you know, oh, I don't appreciate it when you you know use my workspace and then you leave it a mess. So please clean up after yourself. So communicate in a very succinct way, and communicating in a way as well where it allows the other person to truly know how you feel. So if someone does a really good gesture for you, like a kind gesture, you can say thank you. I really appreciate it. I was really stressed out about it, and you are such a lifesaver. You came at the opportune time and you helped me with it. So. It might not mean a lot to you, but it meant a lot to me. So communicating in that deep way, so that it gets your point across. Okay,、uh, deepening communication and and stating things with the true intention. So stating things with the true intention. I feel like that is something that we all need to work on. You know, we all all the zodiac signs. But I feel this message. Coming up very strongly for you, where it's important to err on the side of you know over explain rather than under explain. So I feel like this is a good you know seven days. The next seven days, it's good to to work on those areas of ourselves when it comes to our emotional expressions and communicating in a very clear, concise, and succinct way to deliver a specific message across to a a, a certain person. I see love connections as well. This is all about you know love relationships, other oriented.、Um, I see for some of you,、um, there's like attraction coming through.、Uh, you're admiring somebody because they're very.、Um, not only are they intelligent, but I feel like they're very well rounded. So. You know how some people、um, there's this、um, there's this I guess bias. Some people who are well there's this、uh, social bias. I feel a lot of people think that if you're very book smart, you might not be very street smart. And a lot of people who are street smart might not feel like you know they fit in an academic environment. So there's that bias. But I feel like you're dealing with someone. That is overturning your expectations. You really look up to them. You really admire them, and it's like you haven't met a lot of people like this before. So this person really stands out. And I feel like for some of you, it could be a coworker. For others, it could be a love interest. So either way, if you love them, or even if you just admire them, you admire them, and you wish you could be like them. So I feel like it's somebody who's very book smart, but they're also very street smart. They can, you know, recite things verbatim from a book, but they can also solve problems really, really fast, and they find creative solutions to solve problems. So I feel like this is somebody you're getting to know, or you're learning about them, or you're hearing about them, and all their the things that they have done, and you're very impressed. I see some of you are、um, being inspired, like you're dealing with somebody that might have traveled a lot. Or you're dealing with like people from different backgrounds coming converging. I see like a bunch of people from different walks of life, from different countries, from different backgrounds converging, and socializing and interacting. And I feel like、um, there is an introduction here about you know exotic locations, and I'm getting that in this、um, King of Wands. This is somebody who's very adventurous, very well traveled. Um, he or she has a lot of stories to tell. Okay, so、uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, and、um, they've been through, you know,、um, many, many different jobs. They've been through many different locations, and so I feel like they're bringing you inspiration, and you're also looking up to them 
admiring them, and you're also wondering as well, like,、um, when should I take the next trip? I should really explore. There's a whole world out there. I should really take my time to explore, rather than just focusing on my immediate environment. I feel a little bit bored here, so I'm gonna start exploring. I'm gonna start creating opportunities for myself to travel. We also have the fool here. Big leap of faith, travel, movement, doing something brand new. And、um, I feel like they they keep saying like、uh, being interested in a foreigner. So I feel like someone's really capture your attention, capture your imagination with their stories. And I feel like you're very you're you're at a state where you're you're in a state where you are admiring somebody because of their skills. Okay, so. The last thing that I want to end this with here, we do have the star card. Major, major breakthroughs when it comes to communication here with the Page of Swords. This is like messages being delivered. If you have had a contentious relationship with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, this is the week where I feel like things are going to start to clear up for you, and this can be their Sun, Moon, or Rising. I feel like the two of you are. I, I see this、um, building of knowledge. With you, not just in communication, but like in the breadth of understanding, in your vision, in in a way where whatever you feel like you weren't sure about yourself before, you're coming into a lot more certainty about your own skills, your own capability, your ability to communicate, and your ability to communicate to affect outcome, your ability to to persuade by presenting the facts. Also, your ability to communicate in a way to get what you want, okay? And I feel very strong love vibes here. So I hope the reading resonates for you guys, Libras. I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye bye.